Well, I got a new transmission for this thing, but it ended up not working right. Uh, that's what you get with a junkyard tranny. So it's going to be a couple years, full restoration, six inches of lift, and it's 393 stroker and a five speed. And, um, new gas tanks and everything. Take care of her. her. Got a rear bumper I gotta paint up. Nope, I'm not gonna worry about the dents in it because I'm putting a big winch bumper on the front that I'm gonna make myself. But I'm gonna look It'll probably have a few dents in it. Because I may be fully restoration, doing a full restoration, but it ain't gonna be in a pretty boy truck. But as for the old 302, she got modifications while she was down and was gonna go to the buyer of the motor. Full long tube headers. Barely been used. The doors are from that because mud runners need motor coming out of her because they're getting rebuilt and sold. It's being traded for a 94 F250 deal with no motor. It was an IDI. I'm putting a car stroke in it and putting a manual on that. Change it to a F350, which I'm in the middle of doing that with my neighbor's truck. We got a Dana 60 for his. Just got to find one for mine. Yeah, that's why I got that bumper. My friend ripped that one in half. And this pussy ass one just crinkled up on me. These chromans are just too freaking weak. Oh, it looks like it's the same kind of bumper. But you shoot a little chain can do to that. That's 308. with full metal jacket. Didn't even puncture through it. Close range, too. <sighs> Stamp. Friggin' door. Yeah. So we're gonna get brand new rims like these and get the frickin' regular hub conversion, change it from these stupid one piece. One piece why not putting a regular drive train underneath my Ranger. I you remember know, the 93. Those who've seen through my videos, well, it's no longer my sister's truck, it's mine now. And she's going through big changes too. <laughs> and it's going to be one bad bitch, but. I'm not going to tell y'all exactly what I'm doing. Y'all have to wait a couple of years to see that. Let's just say ain't much people going to want to fuck with her. There's the 8.8 out of the Bronco. The shock mounts are cut off of it. You already cut the spring mounts. Move them in. Roll it up underneath there. Bolt it in. Try and get a 79, 78 Bronco or F-150 front axle for it. Right. My 30s keep going flat in the front, but my 30s are doing great in the back. Here's the doors for the blue truck. All painted up matte black for now. Which is the color this thing's getting painted. And yeah, got a little board. Every spray everywhere. I'm just blacking things out. This is it. 
is going to be replaced with a cown duck soon. And it's going to take a bite of the motor. It lives. Yeah. Where's the key? Count mistakes. Graduation. <laughs> God damn it. Never mind, the frickin' battery's dead. I don't feel like jumping it right now with the old man's truck. She's looking good. I had this new car. Bed off this is going on the trailer because I've got to get a long bed frame for it. Because that jack there is for a very big reason. Let's see if the camera will catch this. There we go. This frame's done. This baby's looking nice. He paid some parts for it. It's looking sexy. Talking him into getting probably 10 wide rounds, 3 inches of suspension lift. Eventually, I'm gonna do a little restoration on this. Get good again. He'll never get his money out of her. So this is his truck for life. Got $1,300 in the transmission. It was a pick and bull transmission that didn't work at all. Mine just worked for about a month. It's got $3,000 in the 350 small block motor, so it's somewhere between a 355 and 383. I don't know what all the guy did. He never gave us an exact displacement for it, but that didn't care. Transfer set up for pulling. Um, because we pulled a big old car carrying trailer with it. He ain't got stock size tires. We got 32s on it. And the great truck is coming along. Maybe getting a 78 Ford Bronco. Everything's gonna look nice, except for the Bronco. It's gonna get banged off rocks and shit. It's just gonna be matte black, run it in mud bogs sometimes. It'll be on a hunting truck and play toy. It's a good old truck. Started us a long way. I don't know if y'all ever saw our green explorer, but I totaled that and my friend gave me this. It's got a bunch of head gaskets. Place those and to pop my sister into a four inch suspension lift on it. Moving up to the 33s from these 31s. We also got a 93 Toyota Camry. You know, Bobby. Sorry for the mess, this is where I took the doors apart. I got the blue truck's bed sitting on a trailer. I got the camper cell on my dad's trailer. I know it looks junky around here. 
kick line, baby. Amen. Amen. Be pretty. Now, like them fancy smancies over there. Drives them crazy, all the noise we make. But this is the country. You don't want a bad truck. You don't want bad at all. <laughs> this is how we do redneck around here. Double up buck off through this baby. Getting ready to get one of those explosive targets, set it inside and shoot it with a 300 short mag. A little brother of the wind mag. I guess that's all for now.